everybody, welcome back to another Korea tutorial. Today we're going to go over a new update to Krita 5.1 and beyond, which is using selection masks and using blending modes for the brush to work on them. So to start with, I went ahead and converted this layer to a selection mask. I did notice something a little weird. Um, it could be a bug, I don't know. Uh, for some reason it put my selection mask in this group, so I had to re put it back where it belonged. Not entirely sure why I did that, but what, just a heads up, if you have an issue and it disappears, it didn't disappear, it's probably somewhere in a group. Okay, so to reiterate what a selection mask is, as you can see in that thumbnail there, it's grayscale, um, just a thumbnail, but what it's doing is all the red areas here, you cannot paint on or draw or anything like that, and anything that's not red and is more pink, you can. So if you want to kind of turn the visibility on and off, we can do that here with this little icon. And I'm going to put a white layer on the background so we can kind of see everything a little bit easier. If you want to see what the original layer looks like, I can turn or turn the visibility completely off on the um, selection mask. And that's the original layer. All right, so what we're going to do, make sure you're on a brush that you, you like to use. We are going to kind of tweak this selection mask using blending modes for the brush. Now, when you open this up, it's going to be up here with uh, tools and stuff. So if you don't have that there, you can go to settings, uh, toolbar shown, and it should be the brushes and stuff. There you go. And when you open that up with the blending modes for the brush, you can see that some of these aren't available. And that makes sense because this is technically black and white for all intents and purposes. You can't use luminosity, you can't use the saturation, you can't use the color. Anything with color will not work because this is a black and white selection mask. It's only looking red and white and pink and everything to us just to make it easier to see for ourselves. So if I want to make some of these areas that are not completely red red, I can start using some of these options here to do that. I'm going to make my brush bigger, and I'm going to start just painting here on the stomach. We're going to keep going, because you can see it's already turning it to a more solid red. So we're just going to completely turn this red to match here. Alright, now you can see in the thumbnail here, it's updated and it looks black in the thumbnail. That means we have done exactly what, what we want to do. We want to darken that area and remove it from that selection. Now if we go to the original layer, you can see here anything that we've that is um, gray, it has it's part of a selection. Anything that's red is not. So this is omitted from any color we would want to add. So let's say I want to make this blue. As you the blue is only being affected, I'm also on the blending mode, so it looks a little funny. Um, anything on that is just not going to turn blue. And because it's a little gray in that area, I'm going to get an interesting effect where it's not fully affecting that too with the, with the, um, the selection. It's kind of feathered in a way. And this is pretty cool. So if you're trying to paint something and you go, you know, I don't want to work on this area right now. I don't want, I want to work on everything else. You can go ahead, make your selection mask, use some of these options here and just kind of quickly color that out. So now if we say, you know, we want to lighten that up, it's, we do want that back in, or maybe we want to just lighten it a little bit to give it a subtle effect. Can do that. So now we've added that back into our selection. So if you go back and you start painting it with the blue, it's not fully blue, but we're able to kind of oh, let me put the normal on. <laughs> there we go. It's not a solid blue like we want, but we can build up to that, and the selection mask is kind of give us giving us that lower opacity, feathered subtle look that we may want for our painting, which is pretty neat in my opinion. Okay, so if you want to add something 
to the selection completely and you're not interested in giving it a gradient look or changing it so that the selection's added but because it's a gray it's not completely being affected by whatever it is you're doing we can go and add it with the screen so keep in mind you can actually change the colors up here so let's say we want to add it with we'll do this here so as I'm painting this selection completely back in it's not solid you know but if I want to make sure that yes I do want this in I don't want to worry about any gradients we're gonna paint it completely white we can change this to white and we can say yes, screen this to the very maximum that we can we can. And that's added back in. And you can do that with the normal one as well. You can go through and just add some variations of the grayscale if you want. You can divide it, which I think is pretty cool. So it's only affecting the gradient areas already, it's not affecting the solid red. Okay, and the one that I really liked was Difference, and this, if you put this to white, it's bigger, it basically inverts it, so it's taking the difference of it, and it's like, okay, so this is completely red, we're going to change that to white, and because these areas here are kind of already gradients, they're already gray, technically, if you look in the thumbnail here, or a light pink, we can basically keep adding to it and darken it, or we can keep inverting it, which is pretty cool. I, I thought this was really neat, so if you are painting something in the selection mask and you go, you know, I don't want this included anymore, you can just start painting that area. The difference. It will affect anything else around it, just keep that in mind. You can say, I want this not be included in my selection mask. So then if we want to go and paint that, oops, let me go back to normal so we can see that color. It's not um, affecting that skull. We'll even do a light blue so we can see that, that it's not affecting it at all. It's pretty cool. I, I like that. I thought that was really neat. All right, and that's it for painting with selection masks. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos coming up, and I will see you in the next one.